It's another episode of Way Different. This is live from the dojo. We got Z-Man in the building. <laughs> we got Charlie Bravo in the building. And you know you got me. Hey, 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 hey. From the moment Mari enter. What's on the agenda? Find a shorty like she don't need hey, 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 bring her to my center. Most of margaritas going straight to pop the blend. That shit now number five. Is it Lincoln's? I remember. What's your name? What's your sign? Damn, you know you fine. Maybe you that ass. Girl, I got to make you mine. Daydreaming while I'm driving. How you looking from behind? If you feel the way I'm feeling, why the f*** you wasting time? I didn't ever make you We all have dreams. So, I mean, I know people say, I mean, they probably think I'm used to it. You know what I'm saying by now, but... Still a dream being NBA, you know, I still play 2K with those guys. So. Which is why we end up as strong as though. Let's be clear. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Right, do you like the gear? Do you like the gear, right? Do you like the gear? They don't in the middle of the night. If you feel the way I'm feeling, it's going to be all right. I say green light at the green light. Don't stop. This all go. That's what y'all say, right? Good night. <laughs> we say good evening. <laughs> good evening, everybody. The one and only, to my right, Gary, Niji, hey. and our special guest, Lester Prosper. What a name, Lester What's Prosper. Up? Up? Good evening, my brother. How y'all doing? Well, let's get into good. it, man. We Another uh, segment of Way Different. Yeah. Uh, we've had the pleasure of Overtime sending us a beautiful letter yes. and T-shirts. And, oh, my God, let's just show them right quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I got Man. my fear to oh I got my Gary, o on. Gary was so excited he put his on and he sure did. Of course, so, <laughs> they, they, they are fresh, fresh yeah, right? They're fresh over there. I yeah. like mine's mine's colorful. And their videos are fly. Really? Yeah. That's overtime uh, overtime came in a few months back and uh we had a great show with those guys. Yeah, yeah, we got to bring them back on. Of course, of course. They gave, um, they came through and designed the sneakers with Serato. Mm -hmm. Gave away the the family tree in his sneakers, so they just, they took his sneaker and put all his family members on the shoe, parents yeah. and family, wow. oh. and all his career. Right. It's, a, it's right? a milestone. That's yeah, fire. Yeah. yeah bro. Oh, that's so. Yeah. So shout out to Overtime, man. You know they're doing big things, man. Yeah. Shout out to everybody who invested in that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> so, so let's get that. I know exactly right. <laughs> we already heard I'm Lester say I'm like, like, exactly. no, no, no. I'm trying to be we big on the ground. We trying to get some more life. You heard him? Oh, we trying to get big on the ground? Man, mm -hmm. you big in real life. Social media is everything. I told You're you, right. I told you think he is. How tall do I think he is? Yeah. Uh, let's guess. Yes, that's all. Okay, so let me guess. I would, I would say. Because Gary think, knows. Uh, six, seven. Okay, that's a good number. Good number. Six seven. That's good. Night. You, you, not bad. Did you see him stand up? Well, no, that was from sitting down. Okay. I saw him and I was like, when I came in, I was like six seven. So let's stand up real quick. Now. Oh Let God. Me, I, I, I don't like. <laughs> I could be wrong. Okay, yeah, you wrong. <laughs> yeah, you wrong. I was six seven in uh. I, you wrong. Yeah. I say in kindergarten. I say Ooh, six seven in I kindergarten. I say right so, now. Um, <laughs> that's the tallest <laughs> kindergarten <laughs> ever. Because oh. you know his size, right, Gary? I I, I believe he's six ten. I think yeah. he's six ten too. Six ten. Six yeah. ten. Yeah. I was gonna say six ten too, because once I seen him stand up, you know. Six I, nine and a half. Six I, nine and a half. I, I, so I was close. Made but me for, feel good. For, for no. contract purposes, we gotta no, put no, you no. six ten. No, no, no. Six six nine and a half. You know, because um they they took my height. So mm -hmm. six nine and a half with shoes on six ten six eleven and now oh, nice. the, and now the NBA is doing this thing where without your shoes on yeah. they're giving your your so right six nine side. and a half is oh the really exact, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. everybody in the NBA has to get a size but why with their why shoes now why is that important I mean right height. Oh, gotcha. Get the right height. Get, okay. yeah, get the stop right lying. Stop peer pressure. Okay, yeah, y'all okay. remember back in the day when Michael Jordan they was talking about six 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 seven. Michael Jordan was about six five and a half, something like that. You kidding me? Same yeah. thing like your son. Your son was considered six four, six five. I'm like, he actually no, no, six no, three. No, 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 no. He's six four. And he's six three. <laughs> no, he's six three and a half. Don't he's play six, with him. Four. He's not that tall, bro. <laughs> what? I was. I stand next Wait to him. Excuse beast. you. He's six four. He all right. He, he's actually six four. Now nah, they gave him six, hey. you know, four and a half. Six, well, five it sounds like Gary wants some inches. Six, That's what four. it sounds like. Y'all well, saw that dunk on Virgil? Well, well, you see how tall he is over me. Huh? You see how tall he is over me? Mm, yeah, about a couple. How tall are you? Couple, did you say a couple of inches? A couple of centimeters. I'm six two and a half. He's couple of centimeters. You're six five. Oh, huh? see, yeah, you do I look taller. You, no. you, you look taller. No. You do look taller. Though. No, no, no. When you get big yeah, headed, he's six five. Oh, when you get big headed? Yeah. When you get... <laughs> <laughs> 
when he get big at it. Hey, he, hey, he look like somebody that just work out at home, right? <laughs> <laughs> your wife, your wife calling you, baby, I'm doing about 30, 100 push-ups yes. right now. Leave me alone, Maybe please. doing push-ups in the yeah. shower and things like that. Yes, I be working out at home. Every yeah. time he cooking, he <laughs> bust a couple gym push-ups. You got yeah. a gym in the garage. I, I like people that can, they can yeah, see gotta, through. He got, a gym, he got a gym in the garage. He got a gym in the, uh, upstairs. I'm like, how many gyms you got? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Everywhere in the house, yeah. He always giving me workout tips. You need to do this. You need to cut that belly. I'm like, man, can I, can so, I just so, live? So, so my wife, it took her almost five years to start working out. I kept saying, babe, you need to work out. Come on, work out with me, right? Mm-hmm. It took her five years. So now she beat me to the gym, man. What? It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. That's, that's motivation. Yeah, she's right. working my out wife now. Teaching me that's how what I'm stretch. talking about. I'm not flexible at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? yoga? Is it yoga? Well, yeah, which I one? I don't know what she's showing me. <laughs> you know, I just started going to DBC, man, just to, oh. to learn how to stretch and, and take care of my body, add a little longevity because. Do you find that stretching helps? Absolutely. Yeah? You know, mm. Absolutely. When you wait, you know, I'm 31, man. When you're waking up with. A little back, you know what I'm saying? Your stiffness in your back. It's time for you to go to yoga and, and get, <laughs> so, your, get yourself right. Get, so you're saying that really helps out? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What they're doing to me over at DBC, they're they're doing they're doing right. You know, I was very skeptical at first because you know they always try to hype everything up and social media this and blah blah blah. We have this person coming in. All right, brother. You know what I'm saying? Let me go in there and check out what it is for myself. Yeah. You know? And then um, it's been seven days. You know what I'm saying? And it's been an amazing seven days. Really? It's not about hard work. It's about smart work and biomechanics mm. and all that stuff they got going on over there. So shout out to DBC on that. You know, I don't know if I, I'm allowed to do that promo, but I paid But you did. It. You did you know that promo. Yeah. You sure yeah. did. It's good. Yeah. Yo, it's like my son when he was on. He's like, yo, y'all just give any kind of shout outs now, man. What's yeah, up? Yeah, man. You just got to give a shout out to FedEx. <laughs> shout out to my guys at FedEx and Pimper Pines. Like, what are you talking about? Shout out they, to they, homie they, Miami Gardens. Yeah, yeah, they always get my copies right. I'm like, <laughs> he up there like, yo, look, shout out to my third grade teacher. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny, man. Oh, my God. So, Niji, go ahead. We're going to give you the floor. You can, you know, open the door oh. for us. Oh, man, I had so many questions. Um, first, I, you know, me, I'm a family. I'm family oriented. So I, most of my questions are geared towards um, family and support. Um, you married? Yes. Married. Yeah. Happily married. Yes. Of course. Why you took so long? Because happily <laughs> takes it's forever. A, oh, it takes forever. Okay, you know okay. I'm saying? learning. I'm learning <laughs> that. Wait, you know, we, I'm not. I need to realize maybe. something. Before we go into that, I got to let the people know oh. who he is first. You know, I'm, I apologize. Sure, sure. Joe, apologize. go ahead. So everybody was tuning in. We got Lester Prosser with us. Yes. He's an overseas, he's an overseas baller. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's from New York. He's from the Caribbean. And the reason why we really have him on the show, because he has a very inspirational story. For So for all you guys who grind it, that may not be a basketball player or maybe trying to do something in life, this is definitely a story that you need to listen to. Um, I, you're going to get a lot of educational facts. You're going to learn about finance in this world through this gentleman, and you're going to know about just trusting God's wisdom at the end of the day and surrounding yourself around good people because, trust me, this story is very beneficial to anybody who's about to listen in. Right on. Love, it, Love it. So, okay, so back to to your wife. You're very happily married. My question is, um, how does being married um, help your career, help who you are as a person? Well, first of all, um, depends on the wife. Well, we're talking about your wife. Okay. Well, well, well <laughs> my wife, definitely, she's educated. Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't ask for much. You know, she's um, very smart. Um, she backs me up with everything. You know, in life, um, no stress, no, no nothing. You know, so, you know, when, once you have a good like background, a good stable home, you know, what I'm saying everything is just it just flows. You, it flows. You know, it flows. You know, when you have stress, you know, I mean that is, that's not right. That could, you know, create a halt in your career. I, you know, I agree. You know, you now you know. said you're you're 31. I'm just really curious. At what age did you start? At uh, 17. Oh, you started at age 17, yeah. right out of high school. Um, well, I was in high school. Um, I started in twelfth grade, you know, but I didn't Late make. Bloom. I didn't wow. make. I didn't make the team. So, you know, one the coach from the college that I went to, which is State University in New York, Old Westbury, he saw me in a tournament in um, Island Garden in New York, and he asked me, "Am I going to a D1 school and all of that?" And um, I said, "No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going back to the Caribbean." You know, um, he's he's like, "Why?" I said, "Because I didn't have a." I didn't have a green card, you know, mm. so um, I um, ended up 
I ended up going to the group home. I, my aunt kicked me out of the house, first of all, because I was doing dumb stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we were getting into it, me and her son and all of that too. So, you know, I stayed in the, the system for, for a while from since I was 14. Oh, wow. You know, so, um, you know, after that, you know, um, you know, I just, I just, uh, I went to court with my coach, um, and he, he, he um, asked the judge if um, can, can we get a, can we get a green card? How can we get a green card wow. for this guy? This and is then, your uh, college coach. Yeah, yeah, Bernard wow. Tomlin, by the way, shout out to, wow, Bert- yeah. Bernard, shout Tomlin. out to Bernard. Bernard, yeah. You know what I mean? And um, the guy who sealed the deal for you to yeah, be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then then I, I've been here ever since. You know, um, it's been some ups and downs, some rough times. You know, um, but. It's what makes you who you are, you know. But let me ask you a question. You know, you said overseas and then NBA. You know what? What's the difference? You know, how did how did that? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> meaning, <laughs> meaning, not what's the difference in the game, um, but in, what's the difference for you playing overseas versus you know having to have that opportunity to play well, in the NBA? Well, for me, um, the opportunity that I got in the NBA was 2011. I think that was the the time that the 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 lockout the lockout happened. Yeah. You know, so I'm not saying that maybe I would have made the NBA. I'm not gonna sit here and BS, but you know, I'm just saying I had a good shot. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I went, I went, I dra- I got drafted in the in the G League. You know, and for the main red clause, um, I got cut in training camp due to people that they're sending down from because when you get cut from a training camp NBA team, they will send down guys from um, from to the G League. So yeah. now that person who's not that you know important, you know they'll release you, you know, um, who's not that. So, you know, after that, I started playing in um, the Dominican Republic, um, Guadeloupe. I was playing Guadeloupe. Um, I was playing everywhere, man. So it didn't discourage you at all? No, it didn't discourage me, you know. like um, good. What were the obstacles you had to face since you had man, to Man, I was playing in L.A. Fitness. You know, I'm an L.A. Fitness <laughs> legend. Yes, <LA> Fitness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I was playing in Guadeloupe. Um, I was playing in Hong Kong. Wow. I was playing, and um, what else I was playing, man? But how do you make those things happen? How do you make those deals happen? For um, you, you know, under? people reach out to me on Facebook, you know. Um, oh, really? A- agents, You're kidding me. Yeah, agents reach out to you on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, and So the key is to show a lot of footage on your on your social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's well, YouTube, social media, um, you know, build stats. When you go to these countries, just try to build stats. You're only as good as your last game, so, you know, mm-hmm. you, try, you try to, you know, Really, really, you're in a position to go hard. You know, you have no choice because this is how you eat. You know, um, so that's that's what it was with me, man. Um, I'm not gonna say sit here and say that I had the perfect overseas career, but you know, there have been some obstacles, you know, that I have I had to go through. Go ahead and take us through one of those. You know, like um, so uh, you know, I'm not gonna talk about that one, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that means he has a lot, Lord. No, nah, he get, he getting that bag, so you got to be careful what you say. Yeah, yeah. you know. They, but there was one in um in in the country that um, you know um that I got into it with one of the coaches and stuff like that, and you know, long story short, police was involved, and you know, he he made it his business to ban me from Europe for. Oh, wow. A minute, you know, so. Um, How's that possible to ban somebody? It, well, it's, it's very possible. Basket, the basketball circle is very small. So when you when you mess around and, and, and you have, you're not consistent with good character, you know, they mm-hmm. they will definitely um, make sure that you don't get paid in that country ever again. You know, or any, Europe is So connected. it hasn't been lifted? No, it's lifted. Oh, okay. oh yeah. I just got back from, I had a great season in, in my country, in England. Yes. Um, you know, individually, you know, um, as a team, as a unit, it wasn't that <clears> successful, <throat> but, you know, um, it had a lot of um, ups and downs through that. Also, that's another story. But, um, <laughs> you know, overseas is a grind, period. Yeah, I was going to ask, so is, so, you know, as an, if someone's an actor, their goal is to maybe direct or write, you know, write something one day, mm-hmm. you know, playing overseas, what's ultimately the goal? Is it to continue just to just play overseas? Is to, you know, what's... Well, this is what's happening now. Um, a lot of players that are playing overseas and that are accumulating good stats, mm-hmm. you know, they are starting to be, they're starting to come over here. You know, mm-hmm. they're starting to be seen by scouts and starting to get chances. So hopefully one day that happens to me. Um, you know, if not, I'm not mad, you know, but, um, 
you know, it's uh, the ultimate goal is w- what do you want to play? You want to play the, the best. You want to be the best. But sometimes you got to get it where you fit in. Mm. Right. You I know? think the ultimate mm. goal was to yeah. play in the NBA. Yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, like he said, he uh, he did get a you know chance to try out for a couple of NBA teams and also the uh, G League Boston, Boston yeah, G League team, clubs, right? Yeah. yeah, so you know what? Um, just, you know, th- when I met you through Gary, um, right before my uh, Father's Day weekend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't know nothing about you, but just watching you play, it was it was exciting to see you in that gym playing. You looked like you played at LA Fitness too because <laughs> you was just taking over like yeah. wasn't nobody out there. Yep. You know what I saying? don't care. <laughs> but I had another guy that, um, I had a, a guy that was seven, seven one seven two that I I worked out a few years back mm-hmm. and uh, was trying to get him overseas, trying to get him into the NBA, and it didn't work out. And mm-hmm. This guy is seven two. Can you imagine that? Wow. Yeah. He's probably somewhere waiting on tables or something. Man, oh wow! Yeah, that's. So, we get, I I hope he's not. Yeah, you but I, I don't. He's not playing anywhere. He's not I playing anywhere. Of. No, no. Jeez. And the goal was to. How old is he? Right now, he might be twenty seven. Oh, Twenty-seven. Does he? Maybe. Is he? Is he still? Is he still skillful? Is he out of I, shape? I, no, I, well, maybe he wasn't in the right shape. You know, when the, he was trying to get him in. I mean, I thought he was gonna make it. Uh, he's. He went by his by his height. Did is he, he, give, did, is did, he still did, interested? Did he give up? Yeah, I was just gonna ask. See, yeah. I, I guess he gave up. But you know what? The, when we went, like we went to Vegas. Uh, you know, that's where all the of overseas course, go and everything. Course. And we yeah. went there and. Nobody picked him up over there, mm. and I think that discouraged him when he came back here. You know what I'm saying? Because we we were working out for like maybe six. I probably could have got I probably could have got him a job in Panama or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he would he would have got some video over there, and then next next step, and then the next step, and then next step. That's you know? what it's all about. That's sex. what you know. I, mean, I help people, man. That's what it's all about. It's about I ain't gonna give you no money, but I'm a, I'm gonna try to put some How money. How can in you your help pocket. someone? You know what I mean, I just, just putting in the work. I have great relationship with teams. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was telling you. It's all about consistent building character. a relationship. You know, you consistent did. You did character. Say that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I did that in um, in that country, it kind of messed up my relationship. Right. You know, it kind of messed up like who I am as a person. Everybody knows I'm not a jerk. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, but now I'm good. You know what I'm saying? If I met that brother, I probably could make a call and see if I could get him a job because that's what it's all about. Yeah. A- after I, um, I finish with this, I don't know if I'm going to go into the agency game, but what I'll try to do is um, try to help as m- many um, brothers that I can as long as they keep good character and they, they stay consistent with what they're doing, you know, I'm going to reach out to whoever I can and, and, and try to get people a shot. Because I think of, that's the goal for you, yeah. bro. That's, yeah. a, that's the goal. That's the goal. That you know? is the goal. That's, that's the what goal. it's about. It's about, yeah. it's about unity, you know. It's about people who actually been there and been through the trials yeah. and errors. So yeah, you can yeah. Give trials them the and tribulations, here. man. I mean, deal. Yeah. 